and in this video we are going to create wave api crud operation and consume service in asp.net mvc application before i going to start i would like to ask you a favor if you found this video helpful please like and subscribe my channel let's start first we need to understand what is wave api the asp.net wave api is a framework that makes it easy to build http service that reach a broad range of your clients including the browser and mobile devices so when to use it if you want to expose the data of your application to your client and other people then that other people can use your data and interact with the data you expose to them for example a mobile application requires a service html5 requires a service desktop pc and tablet requires a service then the asp.net framework leverages the both web standard such as http json and xml and it provide a simple way to build and expose rest based data service let's see with the practical first i have created that one database that is a item db and in the database i have added one table that is a your items table so select in that items tables i have added four four fields means four column the first one is the item id category id item description and the unit price so item id is the primary key just open the in the design mode you can see here this item id is the primary key and this it's a auto generated number then category then item description then unit price let's open the visual studio and create the new project that new project is so open the other project type first we will append, uh, add that blank solution so wave api mvc and crude operation click on okay now you can see the open the solution explorer okay now here first we need to add that wave api project select the web asp not at wave application then write wave api and click on ok then select that empty template wave api click on ok here you can see that wave api project has been added successfully now open that your blank solution and add new project that will be your mvc so going to write like a wave mvc click on ok select empty and select mvc click on okay now you can see here that i have added two project the first one is the wave api second one is your mvc project so now we, we can start work on a wave api oh, then right click on wave api manage new get packages first need to install that course course then select that is microsoft.asp.net.wavapi.course let's install it click on i accept now you can see that course has been successfully installed just close it open the solution explorer and now need to register open the app underscore start folder you will find that one class file that wave api config.cs that configuration file and here need to add the register that course so where course equal to new enable course attribute first one is that domain allow for all then header allow for all and then methods for all now register that config dot 
enable course so add that course okay that part is done now need to add that entity framework right click on a model add new item select that data sp.net area.net entity model write that name that is the item db item db click on add select a entity framework designer from database click on next add that your server name username password then select that database that is the item db click on ok yes click on next next and select the tables I click on finish now you can see that there is a DMX file has been successfully added with that entity entity is that your item let's close this DMX file open that solution explorer in the way API configuration file here some I need to change some things this one actually it's not required but I'm going to change that route the first one is the controller second one is that action and third one is that ID that is the optional so that uh, URL path will be the controller and action so right click and the controller that add controller that way API to controller empty click on add and here need to write item controller see it's a that item controller is an inheriting that uh, API controller first need to add that constructor and in the constructor I'm going to create that reference variable that obz that I item db entities now I'm going to create that object new item db entities now going to start that good operation first one is that http get okay so going to write a public http response message get all items so it will be the return request dot create response that first one is the status as http status will be the ok code is that ok the next one will be your items that is the object dot items that it will be written ok second one will be the also http get it will be the based on item id http response message get item with item id so here need to pass that item id and same way it will return request dot create response http status code dot ok the next one is that object entities dot items dot singular default dot model dot model dot item id equal to item id okay so here this one will be the it will come from the from uri so we can write like a from uri okay next one will be the add new item so it will be that http post http post so next one going to write like a public same one http response message post item post item will be that it will come from the from body 
need to create model right click on the model add class that is your item model item model here need to add properties that first one is the item id second one is the category okay third one is that item description fourth one is your price what's the price is that unit price unit price okay that is done so this one that item model that item model it will come from that from body so obj item model first one we'll check if that particular item is already exist or not dot items dot any then model model dot item description equal to object dot item description okay if it will be the exist then it will return request dot create error response okay so as to type status code bad request then the message message will be item description so is already exist okay then if it's not exist then need to add so it will become one else create that object that for item item obj that item is equal to new item here we can write like a item description first item description will be come from here that item description the next one will be the category dot category unit price dot unit price right now need to add object entities dot items dot add is equal to obj item then obj item dot save changes let's save then return request dot create response that will be the this one the status code okay dot okay then item so is successfully added it is done the next one for update this one will be the update for to use http put put same like that public http response message that put or update item that like update item from uri it will be the item id int item id and then from body from body will be your item model item model obj item model same need to copy this one but one more condition need to add here ob sorry obj 
Okay, see one more condition that is and model dot item ID does not equal to your item ID. Okay, item description is already exist. The next one will be that. create that object item this one okay so this item object item you will get value from this object entity is dot items dot single only single not default model model dash item id equal to equal to your item id so we will get that object so in this object need to change first one will be the item description item description will be that it will come from that object item model dot item description the next one is there object item dot category so category is that your object item model dot category the next one is that your price it is a unit price so it will object item model dot unit price okay now dot save changes so it will be return to copy this one successfully updated successfully updated that put statement has been done now need to add for delete it has to be delete so here also it will come that public http response message the delete item it will ask only from uri but okay from uri so item it will be the item id only Mm -hmm. so item obj item equal to that uh, get that item first need to check that that particular item id is all exist or not first night need to write single dot item start single that model model dot item id equal to equal to item id need to check if a particular item id is exist or not obj entities dot items dot any model model dot item id equal to equal to item id if it's not exist it will return if it's not exist then return the error message this one bad request return the error message here it will say that item description is not exist that is done now for this if it's uh, exist then delete that one dot items dot remove then particular object the same that return that success message that item is successfully deleted you can see that grid operation has been done first of all we have added that get all items then second one for particular items that if i am going to pass that item id it will return that object of that item then another one is a post item that is a post item then uh, this for uh, add item that post is the add for update this one for update item so i have used that accept verb verb is a http put then another one is http delete here i am passing that item id and checking that if it's exist or not if it's uh, not exist then i am returning that error message item description is not exist and if it's uh, exist then try to delete that one it will return that successfully deleted message
that web api part has been done now go to that mvc in that mvc that web mvc here need to install install that go to the manage new get package manager click on browser search that web api dot client install that asp.net web api client asp.net web api dot client install this click on agree accept and successfully install close this now open the solution explorer and right click on a controller add controller that will be the mvc5 empty controller click on add and give the name some home controller okay that is uh, so open the solution explorer right click the empty go to the properties select that multiple startup project first one start vpi then mvc apply and click on okay save it here need to add that view add view click on add need to take that url that vpi url just run the application So need to check that which domain it's uh, running. So this one, if you look there, this one is the VBPI and this one is your MVC. So copy this URL. And this one is that your VBPI and this one is your MVC. This I have copied this VBPI URL. Just close it. Open that home controller. This one is the M for MVC. Here, I'm going to write create that is private static string wave API URL. Just paste that URL. Okay. Open the solution, click one folder in M MVC, right click on MVC project, add new folder, I'm going to give the name that is a view model. Okay, right click on a view model, add new class that is a item view. view. This one is the item view model. Same property they are going to copy this all those properties this four just add it here okay that is an go to the home controller now here going to write using where client equal to new http client that system dot dot net dot http namespace just click that so copy this dot your base address better address is new uri and this one your base address first of all remove that all default request header dot clear that is done. Now add that default request header dot add oh sorry, dot accept dot add equal to new media type header value and here need to write application slash JSON. Till now it's done. Then so next one will be the variable response message equal to that client dot 
get async so it will be the path your path is that item controller that is an item items let's get all items so here it will be the item slash get all item okay this one use that a red keyword and here make a sync that it will return the task that task okay now here we will check if that response message dot which status code is true then where item list equal to so it will be the response message dot content dot read as string sync dot result here need to add i numerable of item view model item view model so list of item view model here need to add item view model equal to json converter convert dot deserialize object so deserialize this one it will return that i o numerable of view model this this one actually it's return that item view item view model this one is that item view model so it will be the item list okay just you need to understand that one this particular it will return that one this particular object because i have created that i enumerable it will return that collection so that's why it's a i enumerable and here that uh, it's a, once it will be deserialized so i am converting to that this particular i enumerable item view model and assigning that item list so you will get that list of item view model the next one will be that to get particular id with the id so again going to write public async task of excel result this for edit once you are going to edit so that so in the edit it's going to be passed that item id see me to copy so here because i am going to call this particular excel method this one so here actually i am pass trying to pass that item id from that item id will come from uri and it will return that one object so it will be not i know written term view model that object item view model same like that using where client equal to new http client okay so new remove that or default request header dot clear then client dot base address it's going to new new uri new uri is that vvpi url so that will be the vvpi url so client dot default request header dot accept dot add so I'll do new media type with quality header value then application as JSON. Same like here that it will return the where response message equal to client 
of it dot client get async so get async will be that your item controller item controller then action what is the action method name is that get item with item id so then item id equal to your concat your item id so this one will be the url then again we will check that if response message dot is succeed code so where item this one will be the item only item then response message dot content dot read as async string async dot result then object of item model view model and seem like a json convert dot deserialize object so here in the deserialize this one was that a collection but but here only it will return that one object so it will be that item view model only so here it will be the item view model and this one return the item okay again it will return the return view this object For now, I'm going to, not going to add because once I'm going to add that view, then it will be good. So this one for edit one by value it will return. Okay. The next one I'm going to add for add. So same one, simply going to copy because nothing is going to be changed. So this one same. This for add. Here it will pass that item view model obj item view model. So this one is not required. Here it will return that string message your custom message to return that string. Uh, this string. Here it will be the string. This one will be the string. This one item and this one return that one object only. This one will be the one object. Here I'm going to write like a string dot empty. But this one I'm actually I'm going to add. So this one will be the post. That post async. And then it will be add object or you can write like a post as json async ok so that one that action path will be that your post item item slash post item ok this one is done this one for add so this one will become that http post one more same things but this one this one for update that one for update same things i'm going to pass that item view model but uh, there is some difference from the post in that port update item so just pass that update item it will be the update item but one thing is changed here i am passing one item id from url so just here also need to pass that item id equal to so i is small item id is equal to object dot that's all same things but this one for one for uri that item id is passing from uri 
and another one that one is a object now going to pass for delete this one you can write like first if you post also you can write then one more that is also http post post okay this one for delete here only i am going to pass print item id need to pass that only item id here and this one delete this let's check the item controller once it will be delete Okay, that is done. So here, first of all, that it will return that one. This I'm going to check this one, and the next part I'm going to use that we create that view, and from the view we will check that all those functionality. First, I'm going to check that if data is coming that in that list of item view model or not. Just make a breakpoint here. Because I have some dummy data that is uh, right click and you can see that select item you can see that two data is here. Let's say that both data both one is coming or not. Just start run the application. Yeah, it's coming. Once step over, just check. You can see that two count is true. You can see the data is coming through the VPI. Hmm? In the next video, we are going to display that one, that particular data and edit and all those CRUD operations we are going to do. Okay. I hope till now it's a clear. Thanks for watching.